Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the new ceiling customizer within the 3D floor planner to create different looks for your ceilings whenever you're building out your 3D designs. So we're gonna go through a few different use cases that you can try out with the ceiling customizer, including this one right here, where we're adding in paneling that's running right across the top of the ceiling. And then I'll also show you how you can use the ceiling customizer to create wood beams or more of a tiered look. So let's dive in and uh, we'll just get started. So for this particular design, um, I guess what I'll do is I'm just gonna click directly on the ceiling because if from here on out, whenever you wanna customize the ceiling, all you need to do is click directly on it. You're gonna click the edit icon from the tooltip that shows up. That's gonna bring you into the ceiling editor. Now the ceiling editor, let's just go ahead and we'll delete this and I'll start it from scratch. Uh, the ceiling editor is going to show you the entire um, square footage for your ceiling right here. So it's like looking at it square on. And then you'll notice that you've got a couple of different lines here. So we've got this inner blue line it, where it has the, uh, the opening here. That's just indicating that this is a doorway. So if I expand our 3D previewer, you can see I've got a door in this particular floor plan and it would be located right here. Now the inner blue line here, that's essentially telling you where the uh, edge of the wall is, okay? And this green line right here, that's indicating that you've added another um, shape to one of the walls within the space. And if you wanted to be able to line this shape up with another shape that you're creating on your ceiling, that's why this is showing here. So you can see that I've added this uh, wood paneling to the back wall here, and this little green rectangle is just indicating that that's exactly where that's placed within the design, which comes in really handy because, I'm just gonna uh, decrease the size of this here for a second, because if I want to create wood paneling that's gonna run all the way along the top of the ceiling and I wanna match it up, now I can easily do that. So I'm just going to click the rectangular shape here, I'm gonna click on the edge of my ceiling, move out my mouse and I'm just going to line up with the edges of that green shape so that I have a perfect alignment. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go into the texture library here. So there's all these different options that you can choose from, but I'm going to go into wood. And if I went into wood panels, you'd see all these different options that you can choose from and you can test out these different looks. But of course, you can also test out all the different textures from the other categories as well. And if you've used anything in your designs, you should always check out your recents library because if you just want to reuse the same element, it'll be faster for you to go into your recents library, select it, and then apply it to your design. And if I bring my 3D previewer out, you can see that this is now showing me that this panel that I've added to the ceiling is now lining up with the panel that I have on the back wall there. So what I need to do now though, is I need to give this some depth. I don't want it to just look like it's flat, like wallpaper on the ceiling. So I'm going to come over here to the right side panel and you can see that I can adjust the horizontal scale and the vertical scale. I could rotate this if I wanted the boards to go in a different direction, but it's the extrusion tool that I want to uh, just use for now. So I'm going to extrude this out two inches. So it's gonna come down two inches into the space. And if I save the ceiling and I rotate this around, you'll see exactly what that looks like. So it's pretty simple and easy to use. And that's just one of the ways that you can use it. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna clear this. And now let's say that instead of having a wood panel, we might also just clear this one out as well. So we're gonna create a totally different look now. We'll save this. Let's say that I want to have more of like a tiered ceiling in this particular design. So we're gonna click onto the ceiling, we're gonna click the edit icon, and now I'm going to use the rectangular tool here, and I'm just gonna quickly create an inner rectangular shape. So I can see the distance measurements right here, and I want all of these to be the same, so I have the same uh, thickness around the outside wall here, or the outside of the ceiling for this tiered look. So let's say we're gonna bring this in 12 inches. We'll do the same here. I'm just putting in 12 on my keyboard and hitting enter. So we'll do 12 and enter and 12 and enter. So now this is centered within the space. So what I can do now is I could start applying some sort of paint colors to these shapes. 
So again, if you go into the library, you can come into paint. You've got all these other categories that you can use as well, but we can go into paint. You're going to see the collections. You can go into any of the collections. And don't forget, if you've already used paint colors on your designs, then you can always go into your recents and then you can apply those same paint colors so that you can replicate them somewhere else within the design. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to have the ceiling is now going to be that same dark gray that my accent wall was. And I'm going to have this white outer edge that is going to come down into the space. So in order to do that, I need to click onto the outside rectangular shape here, and I'm going to extrude that. Let's say it's going to come down eight inches and we're going to leave the inner one flush with the ceiling. I don't want this to extrude at all because I want it to have more of a tiered look like this. So let's go ahead and we'll save that. And you can see that how it builds out the overall ceiling structure within this space. So you could do multiple tiers um, if you wanted to create like an extra rectangular shape within this and just extrude it to a different depth. You could absolutely do that. You can apply different paint colors to it. Another look that you could do with the ceiling editor is adding in wooden beams. So let's clear this one out now. We'll edit this ceiling again, and this time I'm going to, let's just put in a few wooden beams here. So we'll do eight inch, that's a bit big. Let's decrease the size of this a little bit. And we'll bring this down to six. Okay, so we're gonna do some wooden beams that are gonna run across here, and let's go into the wood texture, and maybe I'm gonna take, let's try this one right here. Okay, so I've got my wood texture that's running across here. I want to extrude this out because I want this to have some depth. So if it's six inches wide, I might make it six inches deep. You can make it whatever size you want. And if you want to have multiple wood beams that are gonna come across this room, you can always click the duplicate icon here, and then you can just line up your next wood beam. And then if you wanna change the distance between, Click on your wood beam and then you can do, you can use the left, right, and up, down arrows on your keyboard. So let's say we want these to be three uh, feet across or three feet uh, apart. And then we'll click on this again and we're gonna add in our next wood beam. And then again, I would just adjust this until I have it three feet. And then we'll hit save and you can see your wood beam start to show within your design. Okay, so there's a variety of different ways that you could approach the ceiling editor. It should really help give you a lot of customization options. Definitely check out all the different categories as well. Um, in this case, I can see that this wood grain is running vertically. So if I wanted to change this, I'm just gonna hit edit. I'm gonna click onto one of these beams. I'm gonna use the rotation tool right here. Do 90 degrees just to change it. 90 and We'll do this one as well, 90, save. That looks better to me. Okay, great. So it just gives you the ability to rotate the wood grain texture if you need to, but definitely pop into your design files account. Give this new feature a try. It's gonna open up so many possibilities when it comes to creating more unique looks for your ceilings. And of course, if you have any questions about how to use the ceiling editor, feel free to just reach out on the live chat. We are always happy to help. Thanks for watching.